According to Wikipedia, semantic HTML is the use of HTML markup to reinforce the semantics or meaning of the information in web pages and web applications rather than merely to define its presentation or look. So in the Walter White example we made together in the last video, we used p tag, h1, h2, ol, li, all that stuff. But we didn't have to. I mean, we could have used p tags for almost all of the content on that page except for the image and made them look like lists and headers in CSS. But why didn't we? Actually, we didn't even need to use any tags at all, to be honest with you. We could have just put all the text in the body and, and be done with it. So why didn't we do that? Consider this. You're in Mexico drinking tequila. Tequila? All of a sudden, you remember before you left for Mexico, you uh, messed up uh, Mr. White's name somewhere on the page. Instead of Walter White, you wrote Walter Black. But you're in Mexico and you can't update the web page right now. Uh, you don't even have your computer with you. So you call your programmer friend, Chad. Hey, Chad. And ask him to go in there and fix it for you. You tell Chad, hey, the error is in the family list header. If your HTML has no structure, if it's just a bunch of p tags, Chad will have to manually look for the mistake, maybe read until uh, he finds the, the, the word black, or maybe he searches for the word black. What if there are other instances of the word black? You've used that word in the, in the page in multiple instances. What if he goes in there and changes it by accident and, and not the one that you actually meant? You rely on Chad to skim through the page and change the right word. Are you really gonna trust Chad? Now consider this, what if you could tell him, hey, there is a OL, uh, a list of family members, the heading is wrong. Chad will be able to instantly go in there and look for an OL. It's gonna be a lot easier for him to find the problem. Nice job, Chad. You don't have to rely on him to look through the content. In fact, the content becomes kind of irrelevant. The HTML structure will be the, the guide and not the words themselves. Using tags, uh, and using the right tags will bring meaning into your page and into each element. It will give everything a role to play. What I'm talking about here is readability, code readability. Code is already complicated. It's a new language for you and possibly for other people working on, on this project with you. We need to simplify it as much as we can. Similar to Chad, search engines like Google also read your code and they try to make sense of it. A header means something to Google. A navigation tag with elements inside it tells Google, hey, this web page has a bunch of uh, other pages that it links to. Here are some of them in the navigation. Keep track of them and, and use them for search results. Disclaimer, how search results appear in Google is a lot more complicated than that. Stop your hateful comments. <laughs> I know. I have to address it. But forget chat and even Google. There are far more important reasons to write semantic HTML. I mean, obviously readability, anyone else, including yourself, in six months, you can go back to your code and know exactly what's where. Code organization, things go where they belong. It brings consistency to your code across all your projects. Flexibility and scalability. When you can read something and find something faster, you can delete and update it faster. Some of this might not make a lot of sense to you because right now you, you probably haven't had to deal with scalability issues before, but trust me, it's important to do this from the beginning. You will impress people. Okay, so all this talk and now what? Let's review our page and add a, a couple of semantics in there and we'll be done real quick.